National Chairperson for the Council of Canadians, author and activist Maud Barlow was in Guelph this week to campaign against CETA, the Canadian-European Union Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement. It's a, a very aggressive trade agreement that most people haven't heard about. It's between Canada and the European Union. It's a much bigger trade agreement than um, NAFTA because for the first time they're looking at what they call subnational procurement. That's so it's provinces, municipalities, schools, hospitals, water systems, all of the money that we spend at the lower levels of government, which is the vast majority of money. And it's really an agreement that will allow the big service corporations in Europe and eventually American, because under NAFTA you can't give one without giving it to the other, um, access to the contracts at these lower levels. All the ways in which local governments express their values would be possibly challenged as, an, um, as a barrier to trade. A bottled water ban could be challenged by Nestle because it's one of the European companies. Um, as something that you've passed that's a fair trade or a local economic uh, promotion program that, that, that promotes local businesses. Um, local uh, food um, supplies, local, uh, any policies that promote local, say local food, 100 mile diet and that kind of thing. If there's any money or subsidies or preferences in any way going to that, these big transnationals can say that interrupts trade. Number one. Number two, everything that you put up for tender, like say a new um, wastewater treatment facility, a new hospital that you're building, a new school, a new university, a new road system, it all has to be opened up to competition from transnational corporations. We, we did a research paper that shows very clearly that these big European water companies are going to have the right to come in and challenge our public monopolies on water. And we have cash-strapped municipalities who are turn, trying to turn to the private sector for money, and here they're going to have to turn to the foreign private sector. So we're losing control bit by bit by bit, not only of our local ordinances and local um, values that we put in place through local bylaws and so on, but our ability to spend money in a way that promotes the local economy, supports local jobs, and promotes the, um, a, a, a healthy environment locally. You call it the, the agreement, the big agreement nobody knows about, and you kind of touched on that. Is, is that a deliberate thing that they're keeping that quiet? It's absolutely deliberate that they're keeping it quiet and that these trade agreements are no longer going for debate before the House of Commons or for ratification in, in the traditional way. It's not, it's not even a left-right thing. I mean, I think local politicians want to gain office to promote their own agenda. They don't want a trade agreement. So I'm at another level of government telling them what they can and can't do. I mean, this is, you know, we've got some odd allies sometimes in these trade fights because it's about local democracy, not necessarily any one particular vision of it. So the more information we can get out about it, the more we will, we will um, grow a, a, a very strong opposition. And the government knows that, and the government is deliberately holding back um, information on it. We are launching a campaign against this. People can go to our website, canadians.org, and find out about it. It's called the Canada-European Union Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, CETA for short. Join us in the struggle against it because it's not a good thing for Canada.